Hey, everyone. Um, so... Morrowind was cancelled, and while I'm on the rebound... Why the hell not, right? As I record this, Halo 2 comes out, like... Tomorrow for this? Um... And I was like, ooh. Hey, beautiful. Halo 2. Hell yeah. But, um... As it happens... Uh, I am a slave to my own needs to do things in order. Uh, so I've decided to play Reach because also I'm going to play Reach. Uh, as I speak to you, I sit in a mess of wires because I've got my computer plugged in. I've got my microphone on the other side of me now because it interferes with uh, my controller. So there's another, so the wire is now looped around me in a weird way. I've got the headphones so my uh, computer audio does not interfere with my microphone audio and then I've got a controller plugged in so I am currently sitting in an absolute just a mess of wires but I'm gonna go ahead and start um so what I'm actually gonna do here is that is my new Xbox Live by the way if you're here to friend me um God, this is this is heretical by the way um I don't have any Xbox controllers because I don't have an Xbox One. Uh, so I'm playing... Not only am I playing Halo on a PC, but I'm doing so with the DualShock 4. Which is just completely, complete heresy. Um, so I'm going to play Halo. I'm going to play Reach, as you can probably tell. Oh, man. And yes, I actually haven't uh, beaten Reach on this save file yet. Um, I've played probably around 300 hours of reach across the original 360 copy I had and playing the port on the Xbox One while I had access to an Xbox One, but until then, that was about it. Um, and you know what? I might play all of them. You know? I feel like I'll have fun doing that, but for now, I am just going to play reach. Um, but first, I do want to talk about... Can you guys see my mouse? Perhaps... Um, I do want to talk about, um, something. So, I, um, like having a very canon series. That was the intent with Morrowind. That's why I picked... That's one of the reasons I picked Dark Elf, and that's why, um, the protagonist, you know, is like he is. But I actually wanted to, uh, have a brief interlude at the beginning here and talk about canon in Halo. Um... So a lot of people consider... I want to, I'm going to do a canon playthrough. And by that, I mean I'm going to play on Heroic. A lot of people consider Legendary to be the canon. Um, I don't think that's true. This is, a, this is a dumb thing now that I'm actually talking about it. So I will get into it later. But um, for those who don't know, the options to play this game are easy, normal, medium, and dang... Um, I'm playing through Legendary now. It's not fair. Uh, I hope I'll do okay on Heroic. Normal and easier what I played on when I was a baby. Um, but you can also turn on all of these skulls. To do all of them is a challenge called Lasso, or Legendary All Skulls On. You can also do, you know, Miso, Medium All Skulls On. It's, uh, it's double not fair. The worst ones are Thunderstorm, this one, Black Eye, Catch, and Tough Luck, in my opinion. And then one of these is just completely unfair. Yes, Iron is completely unfair. So, I don't think these are canon, because, like, Black Eye cannot be canon, because it's canon in every piece of media and every book that the shield regenerates such as the nature of it so it can't be canon that your shield doesn't regenerate so I'm gonna play heroic I'll leave score on because I feel like that and I'll start on noble actual and um, I want this to be a very very canon view of Halo, so I'm going to shut the hell up during these cutscenes. 
But yeah, I'm just going to start. Yeah, that's... Contact with Visegrad Relay was lost last night. All signals flatlined at 2,600 hours. I responded with trooper fire teams, which have since been declared MIA. And now you're sending us. The Office of Naval Intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of valuable resources. I disagree. Commander. So that's our new number six. Cat, you read his file? Only the parts that weren't covered in black ink. Anyone claim responsibility, sir? Only thinks it might be the local insurrection. Five months ago, they pulled a similar job on Harmony. Hit a relay to take out our eyes and ears, then stole two freighters from dry dock. That cannot happen here. Reach is too damn important. I want that relay back online, Noble One. Sir, consider it done. Then I'll see you on the other side. Holland out. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter, Noble Team's leader. That's Cat, Noble Two, Meal and George, Four and Five. You're riding with me, Noble Six. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Me, I'm just happy to have Noble back up to full strength. Just one thing, I've seen your file, even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set, but we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. Welcome to Reach. Such a good intro. So for those who don't know, um, Halo is a piece of military fiction featuring... Oh, are they going to talk again? Listen up, noble team. Damn We're it. looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're going to introduce ourselves to whoever took it out, and then Kat's going to get it back online. Get me under the hood, Commander. Sir, why would Rebels want to cut off reach from the rest of the colonies? You got a chance, maybe you can ask him, George. Commander, we just lost our signal with HQ. Backup channels. Searching. Nada. Can't say what's jamming us. You heard her. Dead zone confirmed. Command will not be keeping us company this trip. I'm lonely already.
Shoot down and attempt to like me, so keep your distance. Yes, sir. Let's stay focused. Watch your sector. There's the communications outpost. Leave him a distress beacon. There we go. So, yes, I do like these settings, in fact. This is Juno Noble 3. Could be the missing troopers. Let's check it out. And that's Carter Noble 1, and I'm Noble 6. Put it down on the bluff. For those who've never heard of Halo before, Halo is um, a piece of military fiction set in the future that is June, I want your eyes in the sky. very well known. Um, probably because Xbox and Microsoft kept pimping it as, like, go, the big deal. All right, noble team, spread out. Watch the approach. It's uh, based around humanity and where they are in the year 2552, um, featuring super soldiers called Spartans. Spartans are at least partially genetically modified, I remember, raised from birth in some cases to be military babies and to be hyper badasses, and then given these suits. Uh, I believe they're called Mjolnir power armor. The suits power them up even more, and then they're given another shield on top of that. Um, initially, Spartans were made to deal with insurrections. People who want to rebel against, you know, EarthGov, the Federation, the Galfeds, what have you. Uh, and that's what a lot of the plot is during Reach. In the lead-up, at the very least. Found a beacon. It drives me absolutely they nuts that they don't subtitle this. Negative, but assist. it's military. So where are the troopers? seeing explosives, Negative. Noble 3, can you confirm any EX residue in the area? Mm, negative, sir. Plasma, maybe. Can't be. Not on reach. There's a lot of blood on the ground. All right, Noble, looks like there's nothing here. Let's move on. Sorry, just letting them talk there. Circle west and check it out. Noble team, you have permission to engage, but be selective. We don't need to telegraph a presence. The yeah, Spartans deal is that they initially are just better humans to deal with regular humans. Emus. Moas. Um, and Reach is a very important world for a couple reasons. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, however, it's also just very nice, which makes it uh, a very, very beautiful thing when it's inevitably destroyed, or of course it will be. It's kind of like a space Russia, space Hungary deal. Noble six, move into the house. Going quiet. I'm right behind you. Um, every part of Noble Team, we're Noble Team, by the way. Noble Team are basically like super chads. On your knees now. They're not rebels. They're farmers. Look at them. Ask them what they're doing here. Let's dress the beast. That's Hungarian, I believe. Hiding, sir. Taking up audio. Assume she dot Asia Chorda Yat. She calls us up. Neighbors were attacked last night. Hear about this? Heard screams. Gunfire. Stuck around sunrise. Says something in the fields. Killed his son. Something. Commander, be advised. I'm reading heat signatures in that structure directly east of your position. Over. Copy that. Get them back inside. Osman from Bethlehem. Getting. See, the Spartans aren't just all huge meatheads, besides Emil. Uh, some of us are also crazy psychopaths, like me and Emil. Um, but yeah, George here is, in addition to being the biggest, hugest dude, is also multilingual. Um, Card is technical genius. Cat's a hacker because people are afraid to let women be anything besides non-combatant roles. So, you know, hacker, medic, what have you. Cowards, by the way. Absolute cowards. Damn. Fill me in, Commander. What do you see? Over. We've got military casualties. Two of the missing troopers. Looks like they were interrogated. 
It's messy. Problem? So most gamers, myself included, kind of blew through this intro. Because we knew what was coming. See anything? Negative. Thermal's clean. I wonder what that symbol is. Because these just appear to be. Well, there's that symbol again, actually. Though in negative instead of positive. Fascinating. It's one of those little glove nipple things. That's a jackal. So, a lot of gamers, myself included, knew exactly where Covenant was going to show up and that Halo Reach was about fighting the Covenant because, of course, it is all Halos are. But for those who don't know, Halo is a is a instance of one of humanity's messiest first contacts. And in addition to being, oh, how do I put this? Because in a lot of, ooh, is that a needle rifle? Hell yeah. In addition to being um, military fiction, it's also a lot of xeno fiction. Alien invasions, war with other worlds, interplanetary stuff, that sort of deal. Uh, and the Covenant is the main force here. And it's also the only people we fight in this game. Uh, which is good, because as a place to start, Reach is actually one of the better ones. For those who don't know, Reach is a prequel taking place before Halo 1, 2, and 3. And the Covenant is a force of evil dogmatic aliens who... Uh, you know, they're, they're kind of space Nazis, but also space socialists. You, now, you might think that those are opposite things, but it could also be that I'm just wrong. Uh, they use alien weaponry like... Oh, there it is. These things. This is a plasma pistol. Um, and these are their two main forces. This is a grunt. It's called a grunt, but it's actually uh, called Ungoy in its native language. Um, as you can see, it's got blue blood because it breathes not oxygen. I believe it breathes uh, methane gas, which is why it wears these heavy tanks and stuff. And then, yeah, this is a jackal, a more reptilian. Uh, I believe they're actually called PDR. They are essentially a sniper race. Um, the Covenant is scary because it's big, but there's a couple forces that are actually on par with Spartans. Most of them are not, absolutely. Um, I would say Grunts are a little weaker than humans, but definitely not as populous. Or humans aren't as populous, at least. You can see I popped his methane tank there, which is why he just launched green fart gas. And there's trouble. So that's an elite, or oh, a song healing. Those guys are on par with humans in terms of their culture and, like, thoughts. And as you can see, he's got energy shielding as well. Technically speaking, better energy shielding than us. Elites with pop shields will go down in a single headshot if you do it with the right weapon. Otherwise, you have to slowly wear down their... The gun that I'm using here, the needle rifle, um, crystal-based weapons explode when they hit a critical mass. So if you shoot your opponent enough with enough crystals, they will blow up. So yeah, this is an elite, or a Sanghili. You can see that they are very similar in construction to uh, Spartan armor, um, except their mouths are multi-jointed. Um, they've got, like, predator mouths going on, almost. 
Uh, I made my character um, eggshell color to kind of match the white elites. But yeah, elites are the the shock troops or the big boys. They're the heavies until you know that other thing shows up. Let's roll. Stay mobile. I'm gonna let these guys get in. But yeah, the Covenant is a uh, evil empire, of course, because there's only so many enemies that you can face in space, and evil empire is pretty much top of the list. Emus. And a jackal. Um, why the Covenant be like they be is actually explored in the next game, and that's because the next game is the first game, technically. It's the first one to come out. Oops, excuse me. Like when you're driving on Squirrel Watch. Piece of Covenant tech over there. Nice. Um, that said, Halo Combat Evolved is 19 years old, coming up on 20 years old, I believe. So I don't really feel bad about spoiling it. But essentially, there's a for a precursor race. That is not called the Precursors. However, they are there are a race called the Precursors that are Precursors to the Precursors that I refer to. Oh, watch for the emus, guys. Anyway, what I'm getting at here is that there are a race of super advanced evolved humans, not humans, humanoid aliens that uh, kind of ran the galaxy prior to oops, excuse me everyone ran the galaxy prior to like anyone knowing any about anything and when they vanished which they did oh hello when they vanished which they did um they left a bunch of s stuff in their wake mostly a profound sense of wonder and mystery Focusing in hardcore on a killing these Brontos. Oh dang, they got an elite level. I keep forgetting that the squad can actually be competent when we're not playing on legendary. That's all I've been playing on. Actually, yeah, I wanted to mention that. One of the reasons that I don't play on legendary is that these guys don't show up. The bottom tier enemies stop showing up. We don't leave people behind. Which is also another reason that the mythic, no, the thunderstorm skull can't be canon because. Because I feel like it just can't be canon that uh, the most basic enemies just don't show up. Like, you can't have an army where everyone's a major, you know. But yeah, the Covenant are religiously devoted to the ideas of the Forerunners, who are the ones who came before. Yoink. Sorry, I'm just focusing in hardcore. There's you right there. And they believe that the Forerunners basically pick them out to be the next guys to run the world. Whether or not that's true is irrelevant. They want it to be true. To this end, the core race of the Covenant, because of course these guys aren't running the Covenant. These guys are basic, like, shows. Excuse me, I'm just gonna check my recording. Hey, it looks like I'm still recording, cool. I like that. I like that they take care of their own. Oh, jeez. Excuse me, everyone. 
But yeah, um, the dudes in charge, I forget what their name is. Their species name is San Shum, I think. They don't even appear in this game. They don't appear in most of the games because, like, they gotta be the dudes behind the dudes. Oh dear, that's not good. So we got chased down hardcore by an elite. That was, uh, not great. Um. Oh, hello. Yeah, I can work for that. Clear an LZ. Smart. Actually, Travis, sir. Three Charlie. Give me the Covenant. We know that. And then I'll take Let's that. Let's get one. you out of here. Cool. Be advised, we got hostile dropship inbound. You gotta remember to be able to talk during this. So the Shan Shum. Shan Shum. Started running stuff. They declared that they, hey, we're gonna be the guys to, you know, rule the world, rule the next world at least. Whether or not everyone else is cool with it, and so started either uh, crushing. Wow, I got blitz. Started crushing or assimilating races into the covenant. So. I believe the second race ever adopted by the Covenant were the Elites, which is partially why they have uh, such high ranking. The other reason is because they're such crazy badasses. And uh, their command of the battlefield is particularly noteworthy. You gotta remember to be an outfighter more. I'm so used to Doom. I uh, just beat Doom on Legendary or not, Nightmare Mode. 2016 Doom, that is. So yeah, um, Covenant's been running stuff for a while behind the scenes, and humanity is just now getting to space. So naturally, that means they're running into the Coveys. Oh, get to safety, Yumu. Dangerous here for birds. That's a plasma grain. Those are bad, for those who don't know. I'm playing a little riskier, partially just because I'm talking and partially because I want to be dangerous. So I could get the hell out of here, but I think there's more baddies in here. And I want to kill them for the glory of it. I don't know. I guess not. Neato. Right. I'll have time to talk on the helicopter ride. everyone so yeah um luckily by the time that humanity discovered the covenant they were already working on these fellas the spartans um can you beat it i dial up my torch cut away to you gonna take some time okay we're en route to your location Oop. You can see the gun sliding around in his hand. I don't know if that's intentional. But yeah, something I actually really dig about the Halo franchise is that the concept that humanity invented these dudes to be just as good as elites just in time is a little implausible, but it's cool. I love the idea of that somewhere in the galaxy there is an adequate foe for you. You know, and it's not another human. It's this alien race that has a completely different culture and they just want to throw the hell down. That's rad. I love that. Contact. If I remember correctly, I think I also missed another firefight. Drop us in the courtyard. LZ's a little hot, sir. Put her down, pilot. Six. Break over. Yeah, if I wanted to, I think I could have driven east. But that's okay. So 
So something particularly noteworthy is that plasma weaponry actually drains your shields particularly quickly. Which is something you gotta watch out for when you are a squishy human, because these shields are the main thing doing your work. And it means that the humans actually have a really bad time with this war. In a lot of cases. Is a needle earth pistol with the same kind of technology? Is there is there a better, more well known cliche in shooters than hey just hold him off for a few minutes while I hack this door? So yeah, plasma tech is great against shields, but bullet tech is great against armor and flesh for that. Matter. So in Halo, switching between your two types of weapons is normally the way that you succeed. And there's a lot of ways like that that plays in with the story and the lore, but also as a gameplay uh, decision, I love that. I love that like it's not just a cosmetic difference that human tech and alien tech is so weird by comparison to one another. And I love that humans enter this war in a weird place. Oh boy. Like the Covenant shows up and they're like, you guys are still using bullets? However, despite that, they are uh, blown away if they have metal armor. You're kind of getting lit up, Emil. I don't know if these guys spawn forever. I just kind of want to deplete my resources. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Excuse me, everyone. Normally, these games do not have uh, health. Reach kind of brought it back a little bit. So yeah, Spartans became kind of their own thing in the military because they're kind of hard to rule because they're just so damn powerful. So in a lot of cases, Spartans actually lead shit. Um, but ideally, you want to have a team of Spartans like we have here. Uh, and that's what Noble Team is. Number six. Search that buddy. So I'm actually going to hang out here and explain. Actually, no, we can just go watch the cutscene. Yeah, Noble Team is a team of Spartans. Uh, my Spartan six is a jack of all trades. Everyone else has a niche, though. So Cat is quick and a hacker. George is huge. Emil's crazy. June is a sniper and fights from far away. And Carter's a leader. And he's kind of also a jack of all trades. Um... Yeah, I'll go. I'll go check this. Where's the rest of your unit? We got split. I don't think they. It sounded bad on the comms. All right, Corporal, stay put. We'll get you a combat surgeon. Damn. Plasma damage. Found something. I'll take that six. Not your domain. I got a live one over here. Uh, come on. Uh, Out you come. Many an evening. It's all right. I'm not gonna hurt you. George, I got her. Keep still, and I'll release you. What you say? It's over. We've been engaged. Bad guy coming out. Four, stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. 
Oh man. Oh, I love that cutscene. Um, there's a lot to be said for how you give a nearly silent protagonist character, and this game does it very well. Six is a guy who is, or a girl actually, gender's up to you. Six is a dude who does not give up. Um, he's one of only, I want to say two Spartans to be given the ranking hyper lethal. And the fact that the military has that as a thing is laughable. But the term hyperlethal is actually only used for one other Spartan, and it's Master Chief. It's the protagonist. And, you know, not coincidentally, Chief and Six are the only two Spartans you control. Uh, until Halo 5, I think. And so, you know, it's fitting that these are the two biggest badasses, because they're PCs, you know? The one the player controls will always be the biggest, strongest, toughest dude. Or lady, if you prefer playing that way. Um, and regenerating health kind of plays into that. Because compare like a Doom guy who's just going to take a bunch of hits and doesn't give a shit because that's how he roll. There's more. Flush him out. I've got you covered. All right, I'm going to do something dangerous here. Very dangerous. Damn, he totally, he totally cleaned me. I'm just gonna do it again, though. But this time, I'm not gonna get hit by plasma. Ideally. <laughs> oh man, he's too ready. All right, that's not gonna work. Not that specifically, at least. Now we go. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Mobile five reporting. Targets Damn, we got them all already. I didn't even get the chance to use this thing. I was hoping that I could assassinate the elite and then take the sword, but uh, he's far, far too dangerous in melee. Probably because he's holding this thing, Alfred. So I'm going to hang out here. Um, these are elites, as you can see. This is another... I was going to say elite, but top-tier elite weapon, I guess, because they're called elites. Um, the concussion rifle. It's like a grenade launcher or a rocket launcher. Uh, and then this is the energy sword. Obviously, this is one of the more, like, well-known images from Halo, the idea of a sword that looks like this. And it's made like this because of how elite hands are made. Obviously, they don't have hands the way a human hand is made, so they don't make weapons that look like ours, because ours are made for human hands, and theirs aren't. I'll just activate this. And then I'll shut the hell up, because the cutscene's starting. How long? Question of my life. The question is, when will the station be back online? Two weeks, earliest. This is plasma damage. All major uplink components are fried. Two minutes is too long. Which is why I'm splicing into the main overland bundle to get you a direct line to Colonel Holland. You're in my light, Commander. Find out what she knows. Okay, I'm gonna break my rule because this drives me crazy. <laughs> What's your name? Speaks to her in English. You're around here? She doesn't recognize because she speaks in Hungarian. I'm Evan George. Shada. He speaks in Hungarian Shada. because she understands you. Hungarian. Your accent sounds familiar. Chaprum? Tangari. He switches to English. Friend of yours. And yet she still responds. It drives me Shada. nuts. I'm sorry. Why would you be? Big man forgets what he is sometimes. 
just lost her father. She needs a full psychiatric workup. She's not the only one. Lock it down, both of you. Get her on her feet. The body stays here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Signa, it's patchy, but it's there. I'll take it. Let's take my helmet off. Thing. We wouldn't want to ground this place. Barely getting you. What's your situation? Over? Colonel, this is Noble One. There are no rebels. The Covenant are on reach. Acknowledge? Come again, Noble One. Did you say Covenant? Double Affirmative. Mark. It's the Winter Contingency. May God help us all. All right, and that's the first level. Um, I should make a point to remember my thing that I was talking about, but that was the first level. Um, thanks for coming by. I am going to play this game the whole way through. Um, Heroic actually is pretty easy now that I've played uh, Legendary. Uh, I imagine I will change my mind on the later levels, but yeah, when we come back, it'll be... Uh, Level two, and I'm gonna keep talking about uh, Noble Team, and then later I'll segue into the Covenant. But until then, thanks for coming.